Exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI for short, is a condition where the pancreas doesn't produce enough of the enzymes needed to digest food. These enzymes help break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, allowing nutrients to be absorbed in the small intestine. One of the most common causes of EPI is chronic pancreatitis, an inflammation of the pancreas that leads to destruction of its ability to release these enzymes, often triggered by alcohol abuse. In children, EPI may be due to cystic fibrosis, a genetic condition that causes thick and sticky pancreatic secretions that cannot reach the intestines. Less often, EPI may be caused by pancreatic cancer or surgical removal of part of the pancreas. Symptoms of EPI are the result of poor digestion and absorption of nutrients in the intestines. Unabsorbed nutrients are allowed to linger in the intestines for longer than usual, disrupting the formation of stool, which results in bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Without digestive enzymes, fat can pass right through the intestines undigested, leading to greasy and smelly stools, called steatorrhea. Since most nutrients and dietary fats are lost in the stool, individuals often lose weight and can even develop a deficiency in vitamins A, D, E, and K, which are vitamins that can dissolve in fats. Diagnosis of EPI begins with a medical history and physical examination, followed by specific tests that assess the pancreas' ability to produce and release digestive enzymes. The most common one is the fecal elastase test, which measures levels of the enzyme elastase in the stool. Testing for nutritional deficiencies, such as magnesium, fat-soluble vitamins, or lipoproteins, can also help support a diagnosis of EPI. Imaging tests like an MRI, CT scan, or endoscopic ultrasound may be used to detect structural abnormalities in the pancreas, which are common in chronic pancreatitis or cystic fibrosis. All right, treatment of EPI is based on pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, or PERT, where individuals take enzyme supplements with each meal to aid digestion. Supplements should be taken just before or at the beginning of eating to give the enzymes time to mix with food so it can be digested properly. The number on the PERT capsule corresponds to the amount of enzymes it contains, so a capsule with a number 24 on it would contain 24,000 units of pancreatic enzymes. The dosing of PERT varies highly, as it depends on the weight of each individual and the amount of fat in the meal. In case of vitamin deficiency, individuals may also be prescribed vitamin supplements such as vitamin A, E, D, and K, as well as vitamin B12 and folate. While it's not necessary to follow a specific diet, individuals may be referred to a registered nutritionist who will provide a unique diet plan. Dietary guidelines recommend eating high-calorie, nutrient-rich foods, as well as increasing the intake of proteins such as lean meats, fish, eggs, dairy, tofu, and legumes, which are often better absorbed than fats. Finally, eating smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day can improve symptoms as it helps to reduce the digestive burden on the pancreas. All right, as a quick recap. Exocrine pancreatic insufficiency is a condition where the pancreas doesn't produce enough digestive enzymes, resulting in poor absorption of nutrients and fat-soluble vitamins. Common symptoms include abdominal bloating, gas, and diarrhea, with greasy, smelly stools. Diagnosis is based on a combination of medical history and pancreatic function tests. The primary treatment is pancreatic enzyme supplementation with each meal to improve digestive symptoms and nutritional status.
helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.